Sales Ninja is going undercover. Third Space Coffee Shop in Landmark 2 today, and we're going to be interviewing random people about a question. When they go in for a primary item into a retail store, and they are suggested to buy another one that they weren't expecting to buy, is that obtrusive? Is it wrong? Or is it delightful? We're going to find out this week. On Sales Ninja. Rick, Sales Ninja, hard-hitting interview, and this is raw footage today, okay, raw, and it is good-looking people that we're going to interview today, starting with Lee Ann. Hi, Lee Ann. Hi. Um, so we're talking about primary items. So you go into a store, you get a primary item, and they suggest another item that you, you didn't even say you wanted, you didn't suggest it, but they are saying, hey, you should have a look at this. What do you think about that? Well, first, I think... It, does it relate to what I'm looking at? And yes, it, it, it does, yes. Okay. Do I need it? Do I want it? Is the price right? Um, I don't know. How, how, how random are we talking? Well, let's say you went in for a blouse, and then they said, you know what, we have pants, we might have, uh, let's see, jewelry or something that goes with that. Do you feel that's obtrusive or pushy in some way? No. If it's... Okay. For example, here's a blouse, and it's sheer. You're going to need this tanky thing that goes underneath it. Then these pants go with it. The shoes match. It's alternating. That kind of thing, when it all works together, it's been thought out beforehand. I like that. Okay, so this is the big question. When is it inappropriate? Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> when, it's, when it's not something... I, I don't know. I don't know. Is it ever inappropriate? Um, and just, just so you know, thousands of retail associates are hanging on every answer right now. Oh, great. Um, it's not appropriate when I'm, when I'm done, when I feel like I've got, like if it's an outfit, if I've got the whole outfit together, I don't need another blouse necessarily. Don't, don't push it beyond what I'm, what I'm working on. So when you say you're done, your budget's done, your credit card's maxed, I mean, you're really... You'd have to do a bottle drive to make up for the money. That's when you're done. No. <laughs> Rick here uh, with Matt. Is it Matt? It's Matt, yes. Thanks, Rick. It's a um, good-looking interview people today, but also opposite day. <laughs> so, Matt, um, you've, you've been a shopper, obviously. Yes, I have been. I've known the shop in the past. So, if you walk into a store with it, with it idea of a primary item, like say it's a sporting goods store, and they suggest something else to you, do you, do you take that as a personal insult or do you find that delightful? Uh, I, I find that as good service typically. I mean, I, if it's related to the item that I'm looking at, then I don't have a problem with salespeople doing that because that's, that's their job. Um, now, would you ever think of um, it, it ever being inappropriate? Uh, if I go in for something specific and that's the only thing and I've told them and they go beyond, you know, what I've asked for, then perhaps, yes, yeah, say if I go into a sporting goods store and ask for a Toronto Blue Jays hat and I've, I've got that in hand and they ask me if I want a Houston Astros hat, that's probably not, not what I would look for. Are you a Toronto Blue Jays fan? I am, yes, unfortunately. Okay, I'll speak slower then. <laughs> um, so you find... Because you don't know all the inventory, you actually find this to be a very good customer service technique. Absolutely. Yeah, that's their job, like I said. Okay, we went to the Third Space Coffee Shop, and we discovered that if you are interested in your customer, and you ask them a few questions, and you suggest items, they love it, correct? Correct. Correct. So now we're going to give it a Sales Ninja goodbye. Ready? One, two. Hi-ya! Yeah.